Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Everybody know 2 times 2 times 2 equal to 8. Do you know this can be expressed in 2 power of 3 instead of saying 2 times 2 times 2? This is what you will learn in chapter 1 indices. For example, alpha power to n equal to alpha times alpha times alpha for n times where the n is the index number can be 1, 2, 3 or 4 and the alpha is the base number the alpha can be any integers, fraction or decimal numbers let's see more example 4 to the power of 3 equal to 4 times 4 times 4 64 in this case the alpha is a positive integers how about when alpha is negative integers for example negative 4 to the power of 3 equal to negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 negative 64 remember that when negative multiplied by negative it will become positive and when positive multiplied by negative it will become negative therefore you will get a negative answer how about when the alpha is a fraction for example 1 over 4 to the power of 3 equal to 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 1 over 64 when the alpha is decimal number for example 0 0.4 to the power of 3 equal to 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 will get 0 0.064 4 to the power of 3 equal to 4 times 4 by 3 times was from 64 to 4 power of 3 to find the index number we can calculate by using the method of repeated division to find the index notation first we divide 64 by 4 equal to 16 then we divide 16 by 4 again equal to 4 and we divide again 4 by 4 equal to 1 we do the repeated division until the coefficient is equal to 1 you will notice we actually divide by 4 by 3 times and the index number is equal to 3 so 64 equal to 4 to the power of 3 Let's proceed to law of indices when you see the multiplication of numbers with index notation with the same base number the multiplication can be simplified using addition of indices you may also check your answer by using the repeated multiplication for example 4 to the power of 3 multiply with 4 to the power of 2 according to the addition of indices we can simplify by adding the index number which is 3 plus 2 therefore the answer is simplified to 4 to the power of 5 4 to the power of 5 is equal to 4 times 4 by 5 times equal to 1024 we can also check the answer by using repeated multiplication 4 to the power of 3 equal to 4 times 4 times 4 and 4 to the power of 2 equal to 4 times 4 which is equal to 64 times 16 you will get the same answer 1024 let's practice more on the law of indices see this example 4x to the power of 3 times 3x to the power of 2 some of you may confuse because the base number are different in this case the base number is actually the x and the respective indices are 3 and 2 in this case you have to separate out the 4 and 3 
which is equal to 4 times 3 times x to the power of 3 and x to the power of 2. After the rearrangement, now you have the same base number, equal to 12 times x to the power of 3 plus 2. Final answer is 12 x to the power of 5. x to the power of y times x to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 10. In this case, you have to find the index number y. You can use the law of indices, which is x to the power of y plus 2 equal to x to the power of 10. Then y plus 2 equal to 10. y equal to 8. The division of index notation is also similar to multiplication of index notation. Alpha to the power of n divided by alpha to the power of m is equal to alpha to the power of n minus m. And please make sure both the index notation have the same base number. For example, 4 to the power of 5 divided by 4 to the power of 2. We can solve this using subtraction of indices, which is equal to 4 to the power of 5 minus 2, equal to 4 to the power of 3. Then, check the value of 4 to the power of 3, which is equal to 4 times 4 times 4, 64. You can also check your answer by method of cancellation, and you will get the same answer, 64. Similar to the multiplication case, let's see more example on division of index notation. 4x to the power of 5 divided by 4x to the power of 2. The base number is x and their respective index number are 5 and 2. In this case, you must separate out the number 4 from both the index notation, which is equal to 4 divided by 4 multiply by x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 2. 4 divided by 4 we will get 1. x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 2 we will get x to the power of 5 minus 2. So is x to the power of 3. Next, x to the power of y divided by x to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 10. In this case, you have to find the index number y. According to the law of indices, this equal to x to the power of y minus 2 equal to x to the power of 10. And by comparison, you will see y minus 2 equal to 10 and y equal to 12. Please take note on this example, x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 5 equal to x to the power of 5 minus 5 and you will get x to the power of 0. Remember, any base number with 0 index number is equal to 1. For example, 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 10 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, 100 to the power of 0 equal to 1, and y to the power of 0 is also equal to 1. Index number is negligible when it is equal to 1. For example, 2 to the power of 1, you can just write 2 without the index number, or y to the power of 1, you can just write y without the index number. Now let's pause the video for 10 minutes and you may try this question. The answer are provided at the end of this video.